Hello there guys, it's the Flying Bird once again, and I know a lot of people have been requesting I do another collab with him. So the man, the myth, the legend, it is... Andrew Newbury! <laughs> How did he know? He is on point. Always is, Mr. Lewis. Guys, I actually haven't watched the direct, so I thought the best way to do it you is... watch the direct? No, all I know is the sun and moon. I was, I was out last night. And they they were all like going out clubbing, yeah. Yeah, and you're just like, I'm going home watching Nintendo Direct. No. Oh. Like some albums came out yesterday, that are all very good. James will put a link into them to the description. I guess I will, indeed. And like, so I basically spent all my money on that, and they're just like, Lewis, come clubbing. I'm like, no, I have a dollar forty one. I don't even have enough money to buy yellow. You think I want to come clubbing? So I went home, and then. I thought the thing was at one and not two, uh -huh. and then I found out it was two. And I was just like, "Yeah, I can't do this. I'm going to bed." But yeah. I watched it in the morning. I haven't watched it yet because okay, I wanted to like. So let's start it off. Oh, okay, it's for everyone. That's good to know. I thought Pokemon was only for the elite. How do they let you play that? Oh, uh, they don't. I live in a hole. At the bottom of which. That's bottom of a bridge. <laughs> How do I turn down the sound? I don't know. Well, okay, we'll turn off the sound. Okay, so it looks pretty good. The I like the intro with the Game Boy. That is nice. Are you, are you, are you watching the trailer or the whole direct? The whole direct. How long does the whole direct thing go for? Six five minutes. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, we need we need some sound, but I don't know. Hi, I'm Jimichi Matsuda. Is it Matsuda or is it someone else? I'm Ishihara uh, from the Pokemon Company. Ishihara. Alright. Today I'm here Hello. at the Pokemon Company's I'm office here with in the Pokemon Pokemon Direct. District of Tokyo, and I would like yeah. to directly... Yes. Pokemon. News oh my gosh, it's actually the first one without Iwata. Iwata used to always do the Directs. February 27th, 1996. This is, that, this is the first time I've ever watched the Direct. I watched the Direct for X and Y and Oras. Ooh, male So we're in, we're looking at Japan. It's um, exactly 20, 20 years, years since, since Pope Pope. Day. I feel so old when I hear that. So James, you're only like 12. I am. Um, I think I should be a little bit older. <laughs> yeah. You know what my favourite thing about this direct is? Is they've picked Charmander and it gets to Squirtle. Because <laughs> no one ever picked Bulbasaur. <laughs> Unless Lewis did. No. Oh, I, was, I was Squirtle. And then when I was playing Yellow, I never picked up Bulbasaur. I never picked up any of the starters of Bulbasaur, so Yellow. Mm. I didn't realise you could. I picked up all the starters in Yellow. It's a bit of a pain, but I got it. I didn't know you could get any of the other starters. <laughs> I wish I could turn down the sound, it's getting really... Just do it in post-production, bro, with our extensive money. <laughs> I like how they're all in Japanese. All Pokemon Mon. trainers. And and games. And games. Even even the bad one. Can they <laughs> What are you on? I don't like Charmander. It's got a cult like following. It scares me. <laughs> thank goodness me thank goodness I lead the cult. I like how they just put out a link cable with like the like seven year olds. No seven year old knows what a link cable is. Well, if they're like Mormons, they <laughs> might. <laughs> just like casual Mormons. Well, what if they're they... like what if it's if they're like in a commune? Like one of those anti technology like Luddites. What about yeah they're in an anti technology cult so they wouldn't have um what's it called? Um technology, but they do have link cables. Well, it could be like a nineties technology. Hmm. Hey Lewis, I found you. You're in the actual um the thing. Oh there's noobs, noobs is the Mega Lucario and O code someone. You're the little guy crying. I like playing Pokemon. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, I got myself a muffin. <laughs> Lewis is just like I'm playing Pokemon Y boys. And I've got myself a worm Dan. Hmm. I like how it goes three, three, four, four. 
Yes. Me hmm. too. Pokemon Sun. And Pokemon Moon. Should we read out the Pokedex too? Yes. Yeah. Mm. So, so looking at the trailer, it looks pretty good. The graphics look amazing. As you saw yes. in the video, yeah. the all new Pokemon, that Pokemon Sun and, that's it. and Pokemon Moon will be released mm. on the Nintendo 3DS worldwide in 2016. So it's going to be December release. And Pokemon um, X, Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire I'd say October. players could choose to oh, play well, in one of these seven holidays. languages. Oh, we can play in seven languages now, Lewis. Pokemon Sun and Pokemon what? Moon, in order to allow for even more people to enjoy what? the games. We have added both traditional and about. simplified Chinese. Well, one second, let me, options. let me, yeah. So, go to speak. Let me just pause it so people can hear your voice. Yeah, what are you annoyed about, Lewis? Do you know what is still not available in Australia? What? Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. That's coming out. I swear it was this month. It's supposed to come out on the twenty-fourth. It is. Yeah, but it should be. Wait. So, is it out yet or not? No, I was in um, JB Hi-Fi the other day. We are endorsed by JB Hi-Fi, by the way. Just Lewis's, not me. I go to EB Games, not. Yeah, basically, um, yeah. Mm. Not there. Players can select from any of these nine languages right when they begin playing the game. I saw in game. Japan, and I was going to buy it, but it was just like... It won't work, region lock. We hope that through Pokemon, I was thinking more like, can overcome I don't language speak Japanese, but you know, that's mm. it. The world. Like I just have to continuously hit mute so you can hear your voice. The original Pokemon Red. Get I can't believe it's thirteen dollars. That's what's thirteen dollars. The G the Game, Game Boy games. All of them. Yeah, the thirteen dollars each. Oh. Do you know how much Mario is? Mario, I got Mario for free. Some like the old Mario games are like cheap as, but no, Pokemon's thirteen dollars. So that's gonna put a dent in me buying two of them. The Pokemon I would have buy b continues to evolve you know alongside what, Nintendo's three. hardware. Huh? What one aren't you buying? Uh, I think I'll buy yellow and blue and maybe red. I'll see. I think I'm gonna buy green. Ooh! But well, green's not available. Connectivity between the games has also evolved from using the Game Boy Link cable to wireless <laughs> to communicate. Did anyone games. ever have the wireless G GBA adapter to trade? I thought you could use the link cables for the Game Boy Advance. I never had a Game Boy Advance. Mm, I, I only saw the ancient technology because of our good mutual friend. I saw, Beginning no, with like the someone only had a link cable. Yeah. But I never had, because I just went from Game Boy Color straight to DS. Same here. I just used to it's borrow awesome our good mutual friend's one. Pokemon you caught. And bring Andrew them over to the next Andrew Newbury. Andrew <laughs> Newbury. Even if they were on different hardware. However, we were never right, able to so solve the communication issues the, uh, with the Game the Boy. Central and it was not possible to bring Pokemon from the Game Boy games Get excited. over to games on other hardware. Um. That's why I'm happy to announce that the new digital distributions of Pokemon Red, the Blue, of and Yellow... So what was that? How do you get to the Chamber of Emptiness? Isn't that where you find Zygarde? No, that's Terminus Cave. Hold up. He he'll be back. Um, so I'm really keen about to see the. Take advantage of the online Pokemon. Is the Pokemon Bank? Pokemon Bank. That way. Like, so you could transfer your Pokemon from Red to May. I still, and I'm actually really happy about it. One of the things I talked about with a couple of mates recently was wanting to be able to transfer from my original Game Boy, um, Pokemon to Moderation. But I think this is still pretty cool. Like. It's not the thing I wanted, but it's a pretty good adaptability. You can bring them over to your Pokemon Sun or Pokemon Moon game. Shots, Charmander and Pokemon Sun. I hope you will take the Pokemon you caught in the eShop versions of the games and give them a chance to shine in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Mega Charizard X and Y. Of course, we have many new ways for you to enjoy Pokemon this year for our 20th anniversary, but we will also endeavor to create more and more fun new experiences in the future. So please look forward to what's to come. Thank you for watching. Lewis, you there? Lewis. Lewis. Okay, okay, so my personal opinion on s 
He's 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 coming back. It's all good. I can hear. Oh my God. What happened? So mum comes in. Like my sister's got like a swimming carnival coming up. Yeah. So they have to have like a theme that reflects their house. Yeah. And they're basically copying what, because me and my sister are in the same house. They're basically copying what we did. Was that Harry Potter? You you did Harry Potter, didn't they? No. Oh. It was like some luau shit. Fair enough. So, Lewis, what are your personal opinions on Sun and Moon? Because you're you're the you're the tradition. You're not the traditional sort of fan. You're sort of more the more Pokemon. Yay! Let's play. I want Pokemon. <laughs> you do, but what's your opinion on Sun and Moon? Like, any speculation? What do you think? What you know? Well, recently there was a list leaked. Huh? Um, yeah. I I don't I don't know how true. Hint. Well, I mean. Well, let me have a quick look at the link. Magiana's on man. Yeah, Ma Magiana's like it's interesting to see Magiana, but I'm still what's going to be like? Oh, there's a bit of an eclipse going on because Magiana's in front of the moon and the sun. Why would why would a little robot man-made Pokemon go in front of a man and the, and the moon and the sun? I like how the guy you sent me the link to doesn't have the English names for me, Lewis. You're so there's, no, there's no English names. He doesn't have the doesn't. Have, well, fairy flying yuck. I reckon that'd be pretty dope. Fairy flying, okay. Well, also there's a big ground type. <laughs> <laughs> fairy. Imagine a fairy ground type. That'd be broken as anything. Imagine just a straight ground type. <laughs> straight ground type. Or get what this, another water, another grass ground starter. Oh. So, so, I know people didn't say we did a speculation of what types we would want. So, should we should we re go over them? So, what types would you want as the starters? Water, um, grass ground. Torterra two point oh. Yeah. Next. Water ground. <laughs> Let me guess what the last one is. Fire ground. Oh, no fire. <laughs> no fire. <laughs> <laughs> Just two stars. <laughs> you pick one or the other. I've never, in like, my, like, I did choose Tepig when I played Black, but I played that after I played Black 2. The first time I ever play a new generational Pokemon game, I never choose a Fire Starter, because in my opinion, they always look crap. Yeah. Especially Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Charizard. Uh, back in my day, people would always just pick cherries out because it was on the box. It wasn't even the best starter. Torterra should be available in every generation. Oh, you know what, Lewis? You know how you can you know you can Pokebank mons to red and bl red and blue and all that from Pokebank from red and yellow. Do you want to try to get um get your uh, Torterra as a starter? Oh, hey, hey, you have a choice of either Charmander, Bulbasaur, or Squirtle. I'll take Turtwig, please. And I was just like, what? Yeah, taking Turtwig. Yeah, so I, I really want to see, um, probably, I remember I did it recently. What did I do? I said Fire, I think Fire Fairy. I think that'd be cool. And like have like a sort of, another sort of, a proper sort of sorcerer. Delphox was alright, but it wasn't great. It wasn't up to Lewis Fisher standards. Was it Lewis? I think it looks better than Bloody Charizard. <laughs> <laughs> looks better than, at least it looks better than Embor. Oh, looks better than Mega Charizard X. Yeah. Bloody stupid dragon. I want Torterra to get a Mega Revolution where it's this, like half no, the. No, I just don't think. I think there should have only been a Mega Stone split. For Torterra. For, for Mewtwo. Nah, I think it's cool for Charizard. Oh. No. Shut up, James. You like Charizard. Yeah, but, you know, um... You know nothing, John James <laughs> Snow. <laughs> yeah, so I, I want to see a Fire Fairy. Then I want to yeah. see... I want to see a... Um, probably Grass... Maybe Grass Ground. We'll put a Grass Ground in for us. But I probably would rather see, like, a, another another Grass Fighting, like Chestnut. Or, like, Grass... Grass... Or Grass Psychic, maybe? Pure Grass. No, that's... Ugh. Beganium, yeah. a Fire Fairy... Grass, maybe gra maybe grass poison to balance it a bit. Yeah. What? Oh no no hey, no 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 not grass poison water poison. I did I want water poison maybe grass steel. Would it look better than ferrothorn? Oh, I don't. That's a piece of crap. Yeah. True. Uh, and then um, 
Okay, how about this, Lewis? What mon mon do you want to have a mega revolution? Um, Torterra. I don't really care. You don't really care about megas? You know what? What? Pump kaboo. Pump. <laughs> What's it? So what? What mega revolution would it have, and what? <laughs> well, I don't know, but and then like mid battle, so you've got your mega evolved pump kaboo running around. Yeah. And then, bang, it just evolves into Gorgos and you can't access the Mega anymore. <laughs> just bang. It's, it's ability is useless, along, and it has the same ability as Torterra has. So... Its ability is better than fan service, aka Charizard X. Yeah. True. You know that Torterra's the only starter... Oh no, Torterra and Piplop are the only two starters I never chose. No, I did pick Torterra once. Okay. And then, um... Do I, you want a medal, or...? Yeah, <laughs> preferably. Um, and then I, I saw, um, I saw a really interesting concept for Mega Hydreigon that the Suzerain posted, and how like... Many, how many heads did it have? Had five. And what happened was, each time you went... So the ability was that every time you went... Like, do you know the ability to defeat us that Ar Archaeops has? No. So, defeat us... What's, what's an ability? Okay. Well, <laughs> our ability is, back in mind, we didn't have abilities. They were too complicated for us. We just had special stats. Oh, who needs special defense? Just special. I'm not, I'm not Owen. <laughs> um, like, literally, I never really pay attention to abilities. And back when I was playing through Diamond for the first time, you know how when you get, like, speed drops or whatever in a battle? Yeah. I thought that, that applied outside of battle and it was all, like, cumulative. <laughs> Oh, my Torterra has negative 35 speed! Well, it's not like you're ever gonna get a really fast Torterra, is it, James? Um, Rock Polish? Yes, but irregardless of moves... I, I don't know, maybe Mega, Mega, Mega Torterra gets speed boost. It just turns into Artwin from, um... Finger? Hmm... But What's it called? Discworld? Yeah, it just turns into Artwin. Yeah, but I'd really like to see that Mega Hydreigon. It looks so good in the art for it by Scissor Ring. But the one thing I hope that Pokemon Company do is is they don't do another do another um let's let's make it targeted at five year olds sort of thing. Like I know that it's always a demographic, but I'd I'd really like the fan service to be a, a harder challenge. Like at least have a challenge mode in Sun and Moon. And an time there was fan service resulted in bloody Mega Charizard X. Yeah, but but would <laughs> wouldn't you rather a challenge mode? I'm fine with Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> you find the challenge acceptable? I'm perfectly okay with it. It never really bothered me. Yeah, but it does to me because I, I I get the central kind of speed run games in like a day. Well, that's your issue then. I have never finished a Pokemon game in less than a day. Um, yeah, but when I say like a day, I mean like three days, really. Oh, sometimes, like when I first got Y, as many centuries ago, since I'm forty-nine thousand years old, <laughs> which is why I don't like. I was there before Charizard happened, which is why I don't like it. Oh, were you? Did you pick up a ride on? I picked up bloody um, Kabutops as my first starter. Oh, well, that's a bit hard considering that Kabutops came after Charizard. But continue with your story. Oh, but like chronologically. Ooh, like, it, are we talking about? Are we took. Ooh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but um. Anyway, no. so like, what was I talking about? How you? How you? How you're forty nine thousand years old? Yeah, but what did I say before that? I can't remember, you were ranting too long. Oh, fuck. You can't remember, he's too old, he can't remember. Yeah. Okay, yeah. anyway, continue what you were going on. About. So, is there any other features you'd like added to Sun and Moon? Oh, yeah, I was, oh, yeah, um, that's what I was, I was talking about my time with Pokemon Y. Yeah. Hey, you I ha think I'd reached, like, okay, let's see the map. Because I haven't looked at the map in a while, so... Carlos. Uh, I just remember we were doing like we were doing like 
um, FFAs, and you and, and you're like, I don't have the Mega Stone yet. I'm like, how didn't you have the Mega Stone? It's been three yeah. weeks. It's like I haven't got the Mega Stone yet. Right. Is the Mega Stone from Anastar City? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I didn't get there for ages. That's because you're secretly five. No, it's just. Like leveling up Pokemon and doing stuff like that. Mm. But I definitely have to say, like, everyone's. I think everyone's down the hype train of Mega. It's either going to be Espeon and Umbreon get Mega Evolutions, and then like the whole Eevee line will get Evolutions, Mega Evolutions. They're not going to. They're not going to Mega Evolve either. Yeah, I know. Or they're going to Mega Evolve Lunatone and Sol Rock. No. No, no. Or they're going to Mega Evolve then, Lewis. They're gonna just stop it. <laughs> just, uh, just gonna stop it. They're just, they're just gonna get rid of Charizard X and be like, that's all the Megas you're ever gonna get? Uh, Flygon. Flygon? Yeah, I just literally googled Fan Mega Evolutions. Bro, look at look at Fan Mega Evolutions for uh, Hydreigon. That means effort. Like, I have to type in like 12 letters. And then after Lewis does that, we'll wrap up this it's reaction. Hard. Don't worry, I'll, I'll show you it after. So, guys. One with like seven heads. And yeah. One that looks like. Okay, so I did the Hydreigon look, but what came up was a Mega Relicant. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Alright. You piece of shit. Alright, guys, so this is going to be the end of this reaction video with Lewis. Bye bye.